Hi, I'm Natalie. I'm Tara. And this is Natalie and Tara, a bonus episode. So on Groupon, I found this allergy test thing. It's the allergy testing company. And we bought ourselves Groupon for the food, environmental intolerance, and sensitivity tests and diagnostic health. I'm so excited about this. Like, listen, I've had skin issues. I've got a patch of hair missing. Something's going on with my body. And I want this test to tell me what it is. So what you do is you send a piece of hair in, a piece of hair, a strand of hair, a couple strand strands of hair, of hair. I don't strands. know. You send some hair in, a hair sample. You send in a hair sample, and then they tell you about how beautiful the color is. Mm -hmm. No, and then they tell you what is wrong with you, basically. A lot, um, but most of it's mental. There are 800 like different factors that they test for. It's not one that tells you the kind of allergies where you're gonna have anaphylactic shock. Is that the, how that word works? Uh, that sounds really good. Aflac shock. A anaphylactic shock. They're sounds not, good. Yeah, they're not the kind of allergies that are like that. They're the kind of allergies that cause you insensitive, sensitive discomfort. stomach, discomfort, discomfort, mm -hmm. and the ones that like you don't realize what's causing it, you just later on have gas. Right. I'm always curious like how why I have gas. For me, this is super fascinating. Yeah, and I just think it's fun. Awesome. I don't really know awesome. why I'm doing this. <laughs> so we're gonna pull out our own hair. We're gonna mail it in. Mail it in. And then we're gonna see you in a couple weeks. Well, it wasn't that fast. <laughs> it really was fast. It actually, it really was. That went pretty quick. It was uh, not even two weeks. So, hey, that's a winner already. And now, and now we're going to find out what my kryptonite is. Your food sensitivity results, high reactive. <gasps> my first one is pear. My first one's grape. It says Cabernet Sauvignon. Oh! Which I get the itchy throat if I- You do, I was, yeah. Oh, man. I've got bean. <gasps> do you know what my second one is? What, what, what? Pineapple. No! No! <laughs> what if pink isn't my signature color? I got yellow five, yellow six. These are under your food? Yeah, these are my high your reactives. High? Yeah, wow. like the food oh, color. Oh yeah, that makes Sodium sense. Sodium benza, propyl parben, BHT? Do you have BHT? No, but I'm very interested because you always thought that your high one was MSG. Oh yeah, because I get really red. MSG. So my highs are grape, pineapple, bean, as in red kidney. Uh, MSG, his sop. His, 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 I don't know what that is. Milk buffalo, milk cow, and alpha lactobellum. So, so like all of the lactates. All the cheese. <laughs> but like, yeah, yours are all like the uh, the artificial colorings yeah. and stuff like that. Interesting. <gasps> Moderate reactivity, radish, monkfish, swordfish. Oh wait, no I, problem. Have, I have radish and monkfish. Crab? I eat a lot of crab. There's Do no, you? yeah, this, this is BS. I call BS on that part. Wild boar. <laughs> Specifically, wild no boar. No wild boar. And then yellow number five and red number two. But I can't have pineapples anymore? Wait, okay, so this is just food. I want to get to the, the other stuff. Okay, high reactivity. <gasps> I know this! What is it? So mosquito mixed grass pollens and mixed weed pollens, which is ragweed pollen. Wow. But mosquitoes, we always talk about how if I go out, I get bit every yeah. time I go out. It's not that I get bit more, it's that I'm more reactive react to it. To I am it. allergic, wow. I'm highly allergic to your damn mosquitoes in Minnesota. Bumblebee, which I didn't know. Ooh. Common wasp. I have a big memory of getting stung by a wasp yeah. and it going really badly. Mm -hmm. Penicillin, which I knew, Ooh. but also, and I knew this suspiciously, but never confirmed latex. Oh, really? I knew latex, don't ask how I know latex <laughs> is a thing. Let's not talk about that. So moderate reactivity, I've got Berlin beetle. Well, I just won't go to Germany anytime soon. Yeah. Um, we got moth, mealworms. You have a lot of, yeah. lot of bugs. Common ragweed, which we already knew ragweed, knew and that. mixed tree pollen. I've got storage mite times five. So five of them I can't handle. There are a lot of things on this gold, test. I'm not, hey, okay, now this is interesting. So I'm not allergic oh. to gold. Okay, next section. Nutritional next section. deficiency. I'm very excited about this one. Okay. I knew it. B12 deficient. I'm B12 deficient as well. Heavy metals. Okay, here's the next section. Ooh, ooh. Heavy metals. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. So there's low, medium, and high. At large quantity, heavy metals can accumulate in your kidney and liver. Ooh. Oh, oh my God. I'm at low, scary. low. Medium low, for low. mercury. Because all the oh, salmon. salmon. Where's your, where are you at Mercury? I'm low on everything. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Metabolism analyst. Ooh. So, <gasps> testosterone's normal. I'm a very normal testosterone level. My cortisol is low. Mine's high. Really? I think that's why my hair falls out. Cortisol is a primary stress hormone and promotes fat storage. 
That explains so much. It's a primary stress hormone. Yeah. I wonder if it's high because you're stressed or if you're stressed because it's high. Actually, this is really cool. Like knowing and confirming that my mm -hmm. cortisol is high and like I'm allergic to pear, which I always kind of suspected. I'm surprised really? kiwi wasn't on there. Because anytime I eat a kiwi with the skin still on, my mouth breaks out. Hmm. But I don't know if you'd have kiwi skin specifically. Well, but that's list. well, except for I'm aller I'm not allergic to cucumber, but I react to cucumber because that's where the ragweed pollen oh, is. So it might be some. Did you get any else. pollens or anything? No, or? no pollen. No. But I find that surprising too, because I had lots of allergy issues as a I kid. I think it makes a lot of sense that you have the um, the allergies to like the coloring, food coloring, and uh -huh. additive properties because you have such a sensitive to. Processed yeah, foods, that's so true. Yeah, I don't. I eat processed yeah. foods all the time. I can't. I can't do processed foods. But what is what is this? What is this about pineapple? And what do you mean crab and monkfish and water? What kind of what kind of a life am I living if I can't have crab? This is so cool. Yeah, I'm gonna dive like so much deeper into this. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So this was the allergy testing company. Yep. Pretty not, cool. Not sponsored by them at all. They are on Groupon constantly. So if you yes. want to do this, and you can send it in from anywhere, so wherever you are, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, even with Groupon, it's a little pricey. It was up but. there, but I'm super stoked to know what I know. So I'm going to be doing a deep dive on cortisol levels. Okay, I love cool. this. This is awesome. It's awesome. Very cool. We highly, highly recommend this. This is not a sponsored video. Um, and yeah, that's kind of it for today. So I'm Tara. I'm Natalie. And this was Natalie and Tara bonus episode. Don't forget to uh, hit that like button, subscribe, and then share with all your friends, especially your friends who might have allergies. And if you understand anything about auto exposure, is that what it's called? The auto exposure yes. metering? Let us know, because we're just having a world of problems over here. All right. Bye. Bye.